Hi guys, Anna here and in this video we're going to discuss of how anaerobic respiration works in animals and plants. So please grab a piece of paper so you can draw along with me and without further ado, let's get into it. So the topic of anaerobic respiration is pretty easy. There are a couple of things you guys need to remember in terms of the pointers for the exam, the equations themselves and the reason why anaerobic respiration takes place in the cells. So the reason is, is obviously aerobic respiration occurs when there is plenty of oxygen, but anaerobic respiration occurs in the cells which lack oxygen, which might be temporarily or permanently. For example, if it's um, muscle cells that are contracting, they need lots of oxygen for respiration. So let's start with the anaerobic respiration in animals. We're going to simplify glycolysis reaction and we're going to go straight from glucose into pyruvate. Obviously, guys, if you need to look at the glycolysis video for in the intermediate steps, please refer to my other video on glycolysis. So the products of glycolysis are pyruvate molecules, reduced NAD and ATP. OK, and the role of NAD is to accept hydrogen uh, to make pyruvate. So hydrogen will come in the form of a proton and an electron. The problem is, if we keep making pyruvate in glycolysis, then the NAD will run out and the glycolysis will terminate. So the cells evolved to overcome this problem by reducing pyruvate into the lactic acid. And if it's a reduction reaction, then reduced NAD is used to donate a hydrogen. And therefore, once it donates a hydrogen, it will actually become again NAD which can then go back to the glycolysis and then glucose can then be uh, converted into pyruvate. So if the question asks you, what is the purpose of anaerobic respiration? Usually it's like a two marker question. You should just say it's in order to regenerate NAD in order to continue the anaerobic respiration. Just a quick note, remember that Per glucose molecule, we produce two ATP molecules, which is not much, but still better than nothing compared to the aerobic respiration. The other, the second anaerobic respiration you need to know that happens in plants and yeast. So very similarly, it's going to go, the glycolysis will um, include glucose being converted into the pyruvate. But in this gut case, the pyruvate will be reduced to ethanol and carbon dioxide. So the two products here. And again, similarly, that means if it's a reduction reaction, we're using reduced NAD to transfer its hydrogen to pyruvate, and then NAD will be regenerated in this case, and the glycolysis can keep happening. So if you guys do OCR, uh, exam board for biology, what you do need to know is that Pyruvate will go first into ethanol, releasing CO2, and then it will be converted into ethanol. And quite often you can be asked, well, why is this reaction not reversible? In this case, it's because the CO2 released into the atmosphere and you can't bring that back. Okay? So you have a model answer here at the bottom of why the was the purpose of an aerobic respiration. So make sure to remember this, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press the thumbs up. Please do let me know down in the comments what you'd love to see in terms of my videos and what the next topic. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel to support the channel. The more subscribers I get, you know, the more videos I'll put out there. And if you're interested in me doing videos on chemistry or math, then also let me know. I'd be very happy to do that. Um, and I'll see you in my next video, which will be cover in which we'll be covering photosynthesis. Thank you so much, guys. Goodbye.